What up, Bridgewaters? So, I'm going to show you how to do the most magical thing in the world, install a backup camera. So I bought this 2003 Ford X, Ford Explorer for my wife, and now it's time to put in a backup camera. It's going to be great. Alright, so I'm just going to drive this over to where I can work on it, and then I'll show you the whole process, how to hook up a backup camera into the fuse panel using an ADA circuit. We're going to run the wires, put it where the license plate is, through one of the little light openings, and we're going to slip it through some stuff. See you in a sec. Alright, sweet. So we parked it where we needed to be. I'll show you what this thing looks like. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful truck. Are these beautiful wheels it's the century edition it's a beautiful truck this thing is amazing 2003 ford explorer all right so let's get some of these tools i got the whole setup i'll show you a couple tools you're gonna need on this a little escapade all right so a couple things you'll need i got the impact set Gonna need some screws and some flat heads. Got the set for that. Good to go. Got a monitor. Ordered from Amazon. Didn't cost too much. That's good to go. As you can see. Nice four and a half inches is perfect. Got a backup camera. This is a night vision one. It's good to go. Comes with like 15 feet of cord. got a loser nut tool and that's going to be useful when we're going through this this headliner because we go from headliner up to here through this down here all the way in here and out through the actual license plate but i have to like remove this paneling and everything first instead of going all the way down here through here and underneath here which i could do which might be a little bit easier to come out through this lip and hook it up right here so we'll see we'll see what I'll do you know that actually looks a lot easier but I have to deal with this radar system so I don't know what I'm gonna do I might hook it up here that'd be good for trailer hitching but I'm gonna see what it looks like first to see where we're at that'd probably be a lot easier than running it all through this and having to remove this which it looks like this is held on by these screws right here couple screws up in here and it looks like it might be just some tension screws in there okay we got some LEDs got some out of circuits and the circuit breaker ending a bunch of cordage zip ties some more cordage and the most important thing in the world. My wire strippers. Some wire cutters and some wire. 18 gauge. It's 18 gauge? Yeah, 18 gauge, 50 feet, copper wire. Boom. All right, let's get it started. All right, our first step after the tools is coming in the vehicle. This is the driver's side. And we're locating the fuse panel relay on the inside and I've already looked at the diagram and I'm going for the cigarette lighter port which is 17 and that should only turn on with when the keys turn on the engines turn on so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that one and I'm gonna add add a mini add a circuit to it and use that as where I'm mounting my camera so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that one and mount an add a circuit Alright, I got all my materials necessary for the add a circuit here. I got the mini add a circuit here. Got 15 amp fuses. Got my fuse polar. Some wire strippers, wire cutters. I got the wire ready because I'm going to mount the wire before I do it. And this is only a small amount. I'll splice in the other one once I'm done. And I already got a ground set up. So it's time to add this bad boy. So let's go ahead and get under here. Get it pulled. Okay. Here we are. Let's get this. There we are. This little tricky thing. Oh, it's right in there. Good like trick it last time. Coming out. 
try something else. See if we can find a circuit. Oh, no, someone took it out. It's where the circuit puller would be. So, let's see if I can use a different tool. I'll be back. Got the little thing. That's why you need to have these little white circuit pullers sometimes. Because they can come in handy. So, that was super nice that I had this. Now I just go ahead and mount it up. I'll get this spliced in and mount it up. So let's see. 